You want to come in? Maisie? Come on. Good girl. Hey guys, Brooke Whipple here. Welcome to my channel! Vlog 13. Vlog 13. This is vlog 13 and I am in our tent. It's here on our property in the lower peninsula of Michigan. We're, we've not made it back up to the UP yet and a lot of you have been asking about that. There's like three feet of snow up there guys so uh, that's not going to happen yet. No progress is going to get made on our new property in the UP until the snow is gone. So. Right now, I'm just enjoying, oh, I, got a, I got a nice fire going. Just gonna do a vlog in this video, just stuff I've been doing, stuff been going on. And I have to show you what's in the bag. What I found at the thrift store, and I got it home, and I found out it's pretty much illegal. So, what am I gonna do with this? Stay tuned. All right, I wanna show you what's in here. And, well, hold on, ready? Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. This is not fake fur, people. Look at that. Oh, this thing like actually fits me really good, but this, this is fur from a jaguar. Yes, this is real jaguar fur. And this is a, a wool vest and it's got like a satin lining. No tag except for this union tag. You see that I did a little research and this was probably made in the 60s. So I bought this at a local thrift store for like 50 cents. As Soon as I saw it and touched it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is real. I hate the thought of jaguars being used for their pelts. I mean, I, I would never want to kill a lion, a jaguar, any of the big cats. Like, why would you do that? And it also turns out that you can't sell this either. You can't resell this and it's totally illegal um, to do anything with except, you know, repurpose it or pass it on to somebody else. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do because I'm never gonna wear this vest and that's not why I bought it. I bought it because I was just shocked that I found something with real jaguar fur. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to pull this apart. Here's my idea. I think I'm going to make this into a couple of really cool, like possibles bags. So stick around and see what I do with this. It's really too bad that this was used, uh, that this Jaguar was used for, you know, clothing. So I want to repurpose this and honor this cat by doing something that'll bring it back into the woods, bring it back into the wild. And this is going to be like a possibles bag maybe so that I can, uh, I don't know, maybe carry my fire starting stuff or, you know, a bow drill kit. I don't know, something, but stay tuned. See what I do with this. <sighs> Honestly, uh, my kids have been out of school for like a week now. We're, none of us can go anywhere. We're all in the house. And this is like, this is like my mom cave right now. I'm getting out of the house and getting a little peace and quiet, a little downtime, a little mom time. So I brought all my crafting stuff in here. I got the fire going. If I'm feeling generous, I might invite Bush Radical later <laughs> to come join me in here. But uh, for right now, I'm enjoying my peace and quiet. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some Brookie craft time. Ow! I'm anxious to see what the back of this looks like. Brookie's got some craft time, yeah! Oh, and check this out. I put like some fake flowers back here. Cause uh, I just need some sunshine in my life. <laughs> I need I need some flowers. How about you guys? You guys doing okay? We're gonna make it. Yeah. Don't these just look pretty? They're pretty nice fake flowers, if you ask me. So they they make they just brighten the brighten the joint up. All right. All right. Got some goodies. First thing I need to do pull the skin off of here like I can do it but I need my glasses I can't see nothing with my contacts in like I look like an old lady now look at that yeah we're all getting there right now I can see it's gonna be interesting to see what this looks like underneath look at this so far it's got something over the skin so I'm not seeing the real skin yet and I'm not gonna have to uh, wreck this vest. I guess somebody else could wear this after I get the skin off. Vintage wool here. It's a cool vest, for sure. 
some kind of wool and this beautiful like silk satin lining. Maybe I'll keep it. Wearing Jaguar fur on something, I don't think is gonna work for me. I'm not against fur. Big cats, no. I want sustainably harvested fur. Check that out, it's got cloth on the back. Huh, interesting. That is like, that is, that is the genuine article right there. I mean, think about where this came from. All right, I'm just gonna. All right, guys, I got it off. So that's what the uh, other side looks like. It's, it looks like it's been uh, stained or written on, had, a, had some lettering. Anyway, that is it. I'm sitting here trying to figure out what I wanna do with it. If I wanna make it, you know, something like that with both sides or cut half of this off and I've got some brain tanned buckskin here. That could be like the back half and have some fringe hanging down and stuff. I'm kind of leaning towards that. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Wow. It's really thick hide. There we go. So now I got two pieces. And I'm gonna cut a piece of buckskin for the back. I'm gonna cut it so I can leave some fringe on the bottom because I think that would look amazing. Okay, now I just need to sew. Ooh, some red would look cool on there, some beads. Maybe some weasel tails hanging down, maybe. I don't know. I'll get back with you guys. Bush Radicals here. <laughs> you cozy, babe? Mm, I'm super cozy. Need some lights. <clears throat> it's so warm in here. I'll put you right out. Oh, we got another slow song. That's all right. Yeah, this is gonna look good. Just heard something at the door. Come on, buddy. Come on, Roy Kitty. You have to go, boy. Come and check it out. Hi, buddy. You come say hi. Yeah. Is that cozy? Daddy liked it too. Daddy likes it in here too. He's a good boy. Dad, some money fell out of Dad's pocket. All right, I'm gonna keep working on my stuff. It's pretty good, I've been listening to music. It's dark enough now I can light the candles. So I'm gonna throw some music on. What are you doing? You like Jolene? Yeah, check this out. I got the main pouch done. I've got to fringe this yet, but it's got a buckskin back and the leopard front. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew this on so we'll have a flap toggle right there. So getting close. It's working. Looking good. Well guys, check this out. I wasn't able to show you last night because it got way too dark. But look at this. Here's the finished product. I think it turned out pretty cool. I did add a bit of a strap on it. So if I'm out in the woods, you know, I can hang it up and not lose it or whatever. But yeah, I think it turned out really good. 
it's gonna go back into the wild where this skin belongs. I don't know, it might be a foraging bag or uh, or a fire starter would be good in here too. But anyway, yeah. Earth. There's the earth. Wow, look at that. There's the moon. See what it looks like later. It's gonna be a big one. The sky tonight is it's great. It's like a painting. Look at that sunset. Beautiful. The other thing is, you know when you start hearing the red-winged blackbirds, that it is definitely spring and they're, they're back today. Not heard them until just today. Awesome! Yeah, this is incredible. Super worm moon. <laughs> it is so, so bright out here. It's unbelievable. That's awesome. Wow. It's good, isn't it? See, like, so you far. Sure can tell. It's a super worm moon. Super worm moon. <laughs> hmm? These didn't help too much. But, uh... Oh, the binoculars? Yeah, it's something. Like... Well, the moon's a long ways away. Well, get... <laughs> really? <laughs> Oh, well, it is think a long about ways this. Away. Really? If, there's, if there's a deer 100 yards across the field and you put some binoculars up and it looks like it's 30, well, the moon's still like, I don't know, well, it's got to be a couple hundred miles from here. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. If it was a little warmer, we'd be picking night crawlers tonight. That's beautiful. That's what a super warm moon looks like, even though I ain't never heard about it till earlier today. That's it. It's really pretty with the clouds. It is really pretty. I've been sitting in the yard and I look when it like goes dark, you can see like everything gets darker. It's super cool. Yeah, it's awesome. I'm looking up the writing on these binoculars. When the clouds go in front of it, like it's so dim that you can't read them anymore. It is insanely bright. I don't know if I've ever seen it any brighter than that. It is really, really cool. Even though spring is here, we still gotta keep warm. And the wood pile is getting low. We're gonna have to cut wood again soon. Huh? So, before I get started tapping, I gotta sterilize and clean all my buckets and my taps and my tubing. So that's what I'm doing now. It's supposed to get rain later today, so I'm kind of trying to beat it. Rain, not snow. Water's cold. So guys, I just have some Etsy orders to do. So just looking for uh, the right material to make my necklaces, my earrings, and such. Each one is, you know, unique. So I'm always just looking for things that uh, I want to put together. I think I have my feathers that I want. So a lot of times when I'm sitting here, I uh, listen to YouTube tutorials and uh, listen to podcasts. So I turned it off just for a minute while I film, but I've got my computer behind me right there. So there is the start of an order. Woohoo! All right, need some beads. Just another average day. But my husband's making shoes. <laughs> Bush Radical never ceases to amaze me. He even got his Bush Radical shirt on. It's the only clean, dirty shirt I have. This is freaking incredible. This guy's been working on custom shoes for a while now, which I, it blows me away. Well, the problem is, is I've got weird shaped feet, so I have a hard time finding boots that fit. And 
Maybe I'll spend 600 bucks on a set of Wesco's or whites made for my feet. But before I do that, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to make my own for nothing. You're gonna whoop up some shoes. I'm gonna whoop up some shoes. So he I'm all about cheap. And um, these moccasins, they've been around. And this is the second round of Walmart mocks you've had that you live in, pretty much. These things are all terrain moccasins. But these are actually going to be boots. I'm going to put a lug sole on them. I've got... The thing is, is making knife sheaths, I'm always stitching. So I've kind of got used to doing a bit of leather work and, you know, I'm just uh, enjoying the process. He made this form to fit his feet. Everything is going to be custom made. Now, are these going to be boots or mocks or? These are going to be uh, probably low boots. Pretty incredible. As you can see, kind of didn't quite get the stitching right there, but these are going to be moccasin toed boots, kind of like Red Wings. I'm super impressed. They, it's amazing, amazing. It's fun. It's like anything else, you know. If you enjoy the process. And I like, I like saddle stitching. It's uh, it's pretty, pretty amazing to be able to work real thick leather like this. This really isn't super thick, but my sheep leather is really thick. I got the whole crew outside. There's the chickens, Maisie's out there, Squidgy's right here. Oh, Kiki, what's he doing, Kiki? -ty? Oh, a doggy hears me giving love to the kitty. Hi. Here she is. You guys see her? She's like, hey, let me in. All right. Come on. Go see Daddy's boots. Go see Daddy's Hi, boots. Daisy. Yeah. Hi, Daisy. Oh, it's a good girl. Yes. I want to make Daisy some boots next. <laughs> I think she just grunted. That's right. That's what you need. You need some dog boots. Oh, she hit her face. Cowboy dog boots. How's your project coming? It's all right. Maisie's helping. Always <laughs> helping. Always helping. Tap spoiling. Got buckets overflowing. Bucket. Shaking. Hello, baby. You hanging out with the roosters? Hanging out with the chickens? Lots of good stuff under the leaves. Oh, he's a pretty chicken. There it is. Looking good.
All right, guys. I think we're to the uh, last, almost to the last stage. Time to filter this out and finish it inside. Let me show you what it looks like right now. Definitely looking like syrup. So it's gonna go through here. I'll probably filter it three times. This will be the first initial one and it goes inside to finish on the stove. Oh, it smells so good. It's like candy. This will catch all the impurities of just the being on the fire. Pretty yucky. That is a very full pot. So I probably boiled off, I'd say 25, pushing 30 gallons today, which is pretty good. I'll probably end up with a little over half a gallon of syrup if I'm lucky. You can see all the yuckies in there. That catches everything. First round, looking good. First syrup of 2020. Oh guys, there it is. Isn't she gorgeous? Isn't she a beauty? Oh, you think I'm talking about you? I am. Anyways, first batch of maple syrup, jarred. I actually have another jar inside that we already opened up, but not too bad for the first batch. Turned out pretty good and it tastes delicious. I always like to come out and take a picture of my, my batches in the sunshine. So there it is. Yay. How you doing? Let me kiss that beautiful nose. Mm. Well, all right guys, that's it for me. Hope you liked the video. See you on the next one, Scroll in the Woods. She gone. Oh, don't forget to get outside and get happy.